Hey guys, so this is a tent of a, a new mount. I think I like uh, quite a bit after review this video. It is an in-cabin DJI mount. So I went ahead and stick one of the DJI Hellman sticker mount uh, in the back of the passenger seat where it's curved. Um, use the extension arm, lift it up about the eye level where the passenger is or the driver is. So you're looking about the same eye la level as, um, as what you would be if you're, you're uh, sitting in the passenger seat. But the camera is coming from the back of the passenger seat instead right on the passenger seat because this way I can get to see my movement, uh, see if my head bobs around um, the entire cabinet uh, instead like a passenger it's more like a, a third passenger uh, looking from the back it, co it covers fairly well it, it covered part of the ceiling where the new uh, Melrose glass glass roof is uh, get a sense of the glass roof and also get a sense of most of the cabinet my footwork the seat uh, all the way to the passenger footwell where the fire extension is and I'm looking at this where that gives me quite a bit of the front view almost to the uh, front passenger three quarter panel fender so mostly most of the front and cover um, nearly my whole body all the way to where I, my head bobs around And um, keep looking at this. Uh, I believe this is um, the the rock steady where the the noise vibration um, setting on the DJI seems like works okay. Still a little bit vibrating because I I guess it's sitting. If you look on the lower right corner where the seat. Um, see head, the headrest is it vibrate quite a bit so it, it took out a lot of vibration um, so kudos to DJI uh, uh, the passenger seat move, move moves quite quite a bit vibrates quite a bit um, at least on close to the top where the headrest is so the amount of vibration show from the camera uh, got to fairly minimum um, I think it's okay I'm looking at the dashboard right now where the info, info, information center where those knobs kind of stay in the middle of the screen without vibrating too much and around the camera it's, it's kind of it's, it's vibrating so um, this is a single support I could use the three suction cup or double suction cup uh, it will mount fairly hard to the body, the chassis, or the back of the seat. I just want to try this out. It's a simple clip-on to see if it's good enough. It, I mean, the goal of this is, um, I, I, if you see my previous video, I have uh, videos going down the canyons and drives around, uh, mainly looking out the uh, through a helmet or mount on the hood or on the bumper. This is a new, new style. Um, it's a lot like an auto review style. You get to see what's going on outside, have a sense that you're driving, but you get to see a lot of inside, uh, where the like, like there, the steering wheel movement, the gear shifting, this whole shenanigans, uh, the bobbing around, the sense of speed. I, I don't know. I I think I like this a lot better. Uh, of course, I can mount two cameras, one for the scenery, one for the in-cabin. But the in-cabin, I think it's great to drive around town, talk about things. Um, because there's not much to look at it um, outside when you're in town. Um, but this is actually fun if I start talking about um, just blogging around and vlogging. Uh, get to see me and get to see my movement. And somewhat a sense what's happening outside. Uh, it's more interesting. It's almost like a shooter instead of first first person shooter. It's more like the third person point of view shooting. 
video game kind of a uh, style uh, I like this quite a bit so let me know what you think and um, have fun enjoying the video I gotta upload a few more video of different style camera styles take a look and you can decide how you want to mount your camera but this style I like quite a bit thanks for watching see you next time